today we learn about a very important concept of logarithm where we learn about the base changing formula what does that mean you know how does a logarithm look like log say 5 or let's make it say 125 to the base 5 is 3 right now suppose i am doing a an operation of logarithm i need to solve some sums where the bases of the different logs are different like for example i have another base say log to the base 2 4 is equal to 2 you can see the, both of them are different logarithms and both have different bases but do you know we can also convert the bases to with whichever base we want how do we do that i'll show you see log m to the base a can be changed how the base can be changed to b like whichever base you want by uh, finding out the log of m to the base b divided by log of a to the base b where does this a b and m come from look log of m to the base a needs to be changed to log of m to the base b this is the base which you want and a is the base which is already given to you divided by log of a that is the base given to you by log of b that is log of a to the base b now b here is the base which you want well does this actually work well first of all let me tell you from where did this come from what is the proof that this is actually the base changing formula let us see for example we have been given log of 50 to the base 2 right now what do we do we take this as n so log 50 to the base 2 we have taken this as n so after converting this to exponential form what do we get 2 to the power n is equal to 50 this is the exponential form of this logarithmic form now what do we do is if x is equal to y then we can do log x is equal to log y remember in our previous lecture we had learned that if log to the base x to the base a is equal to log y to the base a then x is equal to y this implies that x is equal to y similarly we will do the opposite here as we have got x is equal to y we are putting log on both sides so log x is equal to log y okay so here what we are doing log 2 to the power n that is add, adding log to this side with any base say base x is equal to log 50 to the same base that is x so you get it what we have done from this form to this form that is from here we go up to here we've got this now do you remember the power law that we had studied in the previous lectures that was among the three stars laws of logarithm so using the power law we can write this differently we can write this as n log 2 to the base x we take this to here using the power law so what do we get we get n log 2 to the base x is equal to log 50 to the base x now making n the subject of this equation we take log 2 to the base x to that side right so what do we get n is equal to log 50 to the base x by log 2 to the base x now remember what had we taken n actually we had taken log 50 to the base 2 as n so let us substitute log 50 to the base 2 was actually n is equal to log x that is log 50 to the base x by log 2 to the base x so this is how this base changing formula comes from see what do we get log m to the base a is equal to log m to the base b by log a to the base b now what i am saying this base b or base x here this is the base which you want to change this to see so this is proved now let us take the example of this and see whether base changing formula works or not see we have log 64 to the base 4 suppose i want to do it in a simple manner i want to do it with the base 2 so what do i need to do i need to convert it what was the base changing formula it was log m 
to the base A is equal to log m to the base B by log A to the base B. B was actually the base which we want. So I want the base here as 2. Okay. So what will happen? 4 will act as A, 64 will act as M and 2 that is the base I want will act as B. So let us change this log 2 log 64 to the base 2 by log a that is 4 to the base 2. Well if base changing formula works then we should get both sides equal. Well this is how it is defined. Now let us do one thing. Let us find out RHS also and LHS also. Let us find out. Well what do you think the value of log 64 to the base 4 is? Tell me you already know how to solve such logarithms. What is log 64 to the base 4? Well, the answer is 3 because 4 multiplied to itself 3 times gives us 64. So, LHS is 3. Right? Now, we will do RHS. So, log 64 to the base 2. Can you tell me how many times 2 needs to be multiplied to itself to get 64? 5 times? Six times, so we get six by now log four to the base two. How many times two needs to be multiplied to itself to get four? Two times. So we get RHS as six by two. That gives us three. See, we had LHS three, we have RHS three. So LHS is equal to RHS. So we can see that law, uh, base changing formula actually works. So whenever you want to change the base to any other base which you want, you use the formula, this one. Now, we have been given a sum. See, in these kind of operations in logarithms, you will use base changing formulas when all the bases here are not same. When you have same bases, you can easily calculate or you can do the sums on logarithms. But here, you can see all the bases are different. How will you solve this if all the bases are not same? See, we will use the base changing formula here. This is the base changing formula where log m to the base a is equal to log m to the base b. This is the base we want by log a to the base b. Now what we will do first, let us change the numerator. So log 3 to the base 8. Let us do one thing. Let us think about one common base that we will convert everyone to. Now 10, you know that common logs are what? Log to the base 10 are common logs. That is very easy to do. So we will convert all the log to log to the base 10. So our common base shall be, that is B shall be 10. So what we will do, we will convert this first to log to the base of 10. So can you tell me what will be the answer if we convert log 8 to the base 3? to log of base 10, use this formula. You can see A is 3, M is 8 and B shall be 10. So log M is 8 to the base 10 by log A that is 3 to the base 10. So this is simple, like this we will turn all like we'll change all these logs to logs of base of 10. See, we have already done with the numerator. Now we will do the denominator part also. Now, one thing you can see this is in the denominator, so sh it shall be written this by this. Now, tell me after changing this base to log to the base 10, what will be the answer? Log 16 to the base 9 when changed to log of base 10, what will be the answer? Well, let's do it together. It will be log 16 to the base 10 by log 9 to the base 10. Log m to the base b by log a to the base b. Similarly, do this log 10 to the base 4, change it to the log of uh, base 10.
right now you can see that this is the numerator by denominator now whenever we have such things in fractions you may have studied what do we do we reciprocate it and then we calculate it so we have reciprocated it so actually log 16 to the base 9 was log 16 to the base 10 by log 9 to the base 10 so we have reciprocated it so that we can calculate it further so we are done with numerator and the denominator now what do you think how can we go further can you cancel anything well no we can't cancel anything then what is the use of changing this base well what we will do is we will look at each of them and think whether we can express any of them as power of any number see 8 can you express 8 as a power of any number like 2 to the power 3 is 8 so this is actually can be expressed as an exponent so log 2 to the power 3 to the base 10 right similarly look at this and tell me log 9 to the base 10 so this 9 can also be expressed as an exponent yes 3 to the power 2 3 square is 9 so log 3 square to the base 10 similarly log 4 to the base 10 is log 2 square to the base 10 now log 3 to the base 10 will remain as it is log 16 to the base 10 16 is also a square of 4 so log 4 square to the base 10 and log 10 to the base 10 you know what is the answer remember in our previous lectures we've studied that log a to the base a is always 1 because 10 to the power 1 is 10 so the answer here will be 1 now one thing you may have noticed see here all the bases were different but now we have got all the bases same so this will actually ease our work now what we will do you have studied the power law well yes we will use the power law here what we will do is we will transfer all the powers in the beginning of the logs so that we can multiply them with the logs and the other parts that will be common well, shall be cancelled so transfer them this will come here so 3 log 2 to the base 10 into 2 that this comes here log 3 to the base 10 into this comes here 2 log 2 to the base 10 divided by this remains same log 3 to the base 10 into 4 comes here 4 log 2 to the base 10 now can you see anything can be cancelled well yes log 2 to the base 10 can be cancelled and log 3 to the base 10 can be cancelled and nothing else and 2 and 4 can be cancelled and here 2 and this 2 well do not think that this 2 and this 2 can be cancelled we are cancelling 2 into log 2 to the power base 10 so this 2 that is multiplied with the log can be cancelled with other such numericals you cannot cancel this 2 with this 2 or this 3 with this 3 do not cancel that so what can you see what is left behind this is left this is left and everything else is cancelled so what do we get we get 3 log 2 to the base 10 so you can see how we simplified this big sum into one single just by using the base changing formula so this is how base changing formula will help you